book is nominated tonight. Congratulations. What does this mean to you? The fans are the ones that nominated this. Very touching. I always love it when somebody says to me, I'm doing this book with a friend or with my spouse or working through it at my church or a Bible study group. Um, that's my prayer. Every time I write one of these books and I send it into the world, I'm like, Lord, use it to either bring people to you for the first time or to deepen a relationship for people who already know you. So I'm always touched when somebody says they've read it or it helped them in any way. Now you are also presenting tonight for Female Artist of the Year. What is, why is it so important to lift up other women, especially in this industry that can often be so cutthroat? Yeah, I feel like in a Christian industry, we really should be about that. I mean, the body of Christ, we're called to community, um, and we're called to lift each other up. And I've been reading so much, studying in First Peter recently, about not having this strife, I mean, really being unified in the body, um, because that's how we share Christ's message, is when we are lifting each other up and playing our part in the body. Shannon, how can the church move towards unity at a time where it just seems like it is increasingly fractured? Yeah, I think a lot of it is just being radically unselfish, um, entering conversations thinking you could be the one who has something to learn, you could be wrong. I think when we enter conversations that way and look to be selfless, that's the best way to connect with someone else, to hear whatever concerns or hurts they may have and may need to process. Um, if we can acknowledge that and reach each other as brothers and sisters, it's so important. Now, you've been writing books uh, following women of the Bible, which is so incredible. In your opinion, who is sort of an overlooked woman of the Bible that we should know about? I always feel like Deborah has passed over a little bit. She's Old Testament, but she was the leader of Israel. If people think that women in the Bible are just second-class citizens or submissive and God's not using them, um, Deborah is a perfect example of God using a woman to be brave, to lead her nation, to save her nation from real persecution from the outside. And it's not that it was an easy task, it was frightening, but she stepped up and believed God sent her and told her to go into battle, and she did. And she also wrote beautiful songs and poetry. It was kind of like she was good at everything, um, but I love her. I think sometimes tucked away in the pages of the Old Testament, people don't know as much about her. Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much, Shannon, and good luck tonight.